Welcome into YSN Live here from the Golden Dawn Irish Nation. Israel Rosario, offensive lineman, senior for Ursuline. Thanks for joining me. And, you know, talk about the East game. He has oh, had a real good game. He had a few mistakes, but yeah. that, of course, is going to be expected in most ball games. But you guys got the win, a dominating win. How was it to get that win? What do you think you guys did well and things you need to improve on in that facet? I would say that um, definitely the energy that we came with. Right. Definitely we came with a chip on our shoulder. It was – the energy was like – it was it was amazing, basically just and the tension in the room whenever you're like in the locker room, especially with that during uh, the East game. But I say like um, we had a few missed assignments, which I mean, I mean that's always fixable. You just gotta you just gotta get more mental reps in your head. Right. But um, just the energy that we came with, it was it was awesome, and I'm hoping to bring that every single game. What's it like blocking for a backfield with Baylog and Fecco and Frangos and, of course, D.C.? I mean, <laughs> even Kevin, he, you guys got a plethora of backs and guys who can carry the ball. Unless Quez, he plays back there too. How is it blocking for such talented playmakers where obviously your goal is to be 100% on every play, but if you do slip up, you got playmakers who can make something out of nothing too. How, how is it like doing that? It's, it's a great feeling. Like, me personally, like, you already see how I am. You said offensive lineman. I'm 5'8", 190 <laughs> pounds. Like, <laughs> like even though I like embrace that underdog type of role, like just having those playmakers behind behind you is just it's a, just an amazing feeling. And you know you have a couple of returning stars on that line. What's it like kind of with that the meshing and the chemistry with your offensive lineman? Because obviously you can't just throw five new starters, yeah. which you guys didn't, but it expected to be perfect right away. You've had some time to you know get to know Phil and all and Bryce and all the rest of them. So what's it like you know the kind of the chemistry you guys have? It's, it's honestly amazing playing right next to just somebody that has a lot of experience. And um, I'm already knowing Phil. He, he got a plethora of D1 offers. It's just amazing having those people right next to you. And just, like, if you need any advice, you could just ask them. It's, it's a great feeling. I, right. feel like, I feel like we're stacked, really. Right, Nurson's had a great tradition of offensive linemen. And, you, of course, you have to sit behind some of the guys who went D1 and played. And what was it like just learning from those guys and knowing that, okay, I can learn, and when I'm ready, I'm going to pounce on that opportunity? It's, it, I know I'm saying that it's a great. <laughs> I know I'm saying it's a great feeling all the time, but hey, it's a it's a great feeling. Hey, playing football at Ursuline is a pretty great feeling. Yeah, right? I, mean, I mean just uh, just watching Isaac and um, and Brian Frasco. They was they was great people that I looked up to, and Casey and uh, Mike Branch. They just right. they just play with just so much intensity, and honestly, it took them pretty far. You see that you see that they went D one. All right, and so. What's your, you know, the NFL player, college player, you kind of model your game after, you kind of look up to? Ooh. Like, so I don't really model my game after after somebody, but, I mean. Maybe I your favorite player, you know, whatever uh, comes to mind. I got to say, um, like, not really like a play style. It's more of a vibe. I'm with uh, Alvin Kamar. Okay, okay. That's a, it's, had a big fan of the big fantasy week last yeah, week. Oh, sure my goodness. It, it, messed, it messed me up so badly. 44 points. Man, you, you, you just don't expect him to wake up one day and just say, right. hey, I'm going to drop this on you. He was taking a pick before me in the one league, so I was upset about that. <laughs> but, no, I mean, that, that's a great vibe to have. And, that's a, and he's, he's one of those players that plays with a lot of balance, too, which you need to have on that offensive line, yeah. you know. And so looking at Harding, you know, what are some things that you're looking in the scatter report that they do well, what you can exploit, and overall what it's going to take to go in there and get a win on Friday night? I feel like um, they throw a lot of stunts at you, but you just got to know how you how you deal with it. And honestly, I feel like our tempo is just going to take us so, so far in that aspect that they won't be able to just even, like, communicate to, like, what they're supposed to do. So I feel like. Like, their stunts, I'm hoping that we can just turn that against them. Right. And you talked about last year obviously was a very convincing win for you guys. This Harden team is much improved as you've seen in the first four games, especially that defense. They played really well. Yeah. And I'm sure you're excited to embrace the challenge against a really good defensive line. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love I love going against, like, people that are two times, three times bigger than me. And, <laughs> I mean, it's just – uh, even Coach was saying that they they're, they got some type of new energy, and I'm, I'm – Glad, I'm glad to handle it. I'm glad right. to handle it and just and just shut it all down. Right, and it's an old school Steel Valley rivalry, and you know, obviously it's 30 minutes away, but it's going to be a great atmosphere. What are you looking forward to most about going into that stadium? Because it's it's a big time, yeah, big time game. Yeah, I heard that like they're going to be putting it on TV and everything. Um, I'm just looking for that for that atmosphere that I could just just walk in and just shut everything down. Really, just. Um, 
I was just looking to just crash their party, really. All right, and yeah. that's that's another goal. Lastly, you know, what's your message to the Irish fans coming in on Friday night when they're traveling to Mollenkopf Stadium? Hey, Irish, hey, y'all got to bring some energy because they're going to be coming with it. So y'all got to you gotta step it up a little bit. Well, that's Israel Rosario. Thanks for joining me, Izzy. Yes, sir. And they're going to see him and his teammates in action on Friday night from Mollenkopf Stadium. We'll have some sort of coverage there articles on the website. We can't wait to have you guys out there for the game. And Irish Nation, we'll see you later.